All right, so let's take a look at blend shapes in Silo. Um, I've got the blend shape editor open here. That's in editors, blend shape editor. And I've got this blend shape. And what a blend shape is, is it's a base shape, and then it's got targets. And each target is just a different position for the same vertices. So we've set up two here. And uh, forgive us, we're not artists, we're programmers. Um, but we set up one called surprised, and we've set up another one called perturbed. And the nice thing about blend shapes is that you can uh, easily blend between the different targets and get all sorts of shapes. And this is useful for animation, um, but also for modeling, as we'll get to later, particularly uh, procedural generation. So what do we have here? So let's hit Restore Target Shapes, and you can see the base shapes that this was working with. Um, and again, these all need to have the exact same topology, but then uh, different vertex positions. So when we created a blend shape, or when we want to create a blend shape, you'll see this uh, text here, and there's two ways you can do it. The first way is to make all your separate shapes and then select them in order. So the first one you select will be the base shape, and then uh, each of the other ones will be a target. And we create that, and we're back to uh, what we just had here with these two sliders. Um, but the other thing you can do is you can just start with a single shape, or you can start with from at any point here, and you can add a new target. And the way you do that is simply to uh, move some vertices. And here, notice we've got all the other targets set to zero, so none of their positions get baked into the new target. Um, but we just move some vertices, and then we hit Add Target. And that target um, will be created. So it's really handy to... Uh, either work with uh, all the separate shapes here, and now we've got our other one here, um, or to add targets over time. All right, so let's load up another model here. And this one is a simple palm tree. And this is where uh, you can start to see the uh, benefits of procedural generation. So say you want to make a whole bunch of different palm trees. Well, we've taken one palm tree and we've given it a bunch of different sliders here. Uh, this one changes the size of the fronds and these ones lean it in different directions and this one is sort of an overall size. The nice thing we can do is that we can then just hit randomize sliders and each time we randomize them we'll get a different looking palm tree. And the other thing we can do is generate a batch of them. So let's make, uh, uh, let's make five palm trees. And that's a super easy way to get variation, you know, if you're trying to fill out a scene. So the other things we have here, uh, we've talked about add target, we've talked about randomized sliders, we've talked about retort store target shapes, bake shape that just gets rid of the um, blend shape altogether, and then batch generate. So the other thing we have here is we have an average mode instead of a blend, instead of an additive mode. Additive is the kind of universal default. So if you want to export via FBX or something, you're going to want to use additive for it to come in properly into other programs. But average, and what additive means is that just each uh, target's offset is added to whatever the current position with, is. Average just combines them all together, and you may not be able to see the big difference here, but as can be useful if you've got three targets that move the same vertex and you don't want that vertex to move out three times as far. Averaged is nice because it uh, just takes the average of all the positions. So play with it, see what you want. But again, uh, additive is the way you want to go if you want to export to other programs and do animation in, you know, say Maya or a game engine like Unity or Unreal. So that's a quick look at um, blend shapes overall. Uh, be sure to let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see or if you have more questions about how they work. And thanks for watching.